Hello guys, let's continue this exercise today. We're gonna make the these two gears here. Okay. So open your fusion and let's go. Let's hide this. Go to create a sketch and select the front plane. Select line. Let's make this sketch here. That's okay. Go to sketch dimension. The distance here is 6.65 millimeters. Go to constraint, make it horizontal vertical constraint. The distance here is 8.94 millimeters. And here is 13. 0.61 millimeter. And this guy here has 6.84 millimeters. The distance here is 8.06 millimeter. The angle between these two lines is 1. 135 millimeters the same angle here okay the angle here is 83.2 degrees it is constrained let's remove this constraint okay 83.2 degrees that's okay Go to constraints, select horizontal vertical, click in this point and the construction point here. Okay, the distance between this point and the midpoint here is 12.75 millimeters. We have this, okay. Finish the sketch, go to revolve. The profile with this sketch, okay, and the axis is the axis here. Operation new body, press OK. Now go to construct, select plane tangent to face at point. Select this face and this point here. Press OK. Go to construct again, select the offset plane. Select this plane here. The distance here is minus 23.33. Point 33 millimeters. Press OK. Now go to create a sketch. Select this plane here. OK. Let's hide this plane. Select line, construction line. Make a line here. Go to constraint, select tangent, click in this line and this edge here. Okay. Select line again, a construction line. Click here in this point. Make a construction line here. The distance between this point and this construction line is 4.09 millimeters. Select a circle. Click here in this point, the circle here, it, it is not a construction, okay. A 0 0.03 millimeters of diameter, press OK. We have a circle here, okay. Finish this sketch. Let's show this plane, go to create a sketch, select this plane and all. Select line, construction line, make a construction line here. Go to constraint, select tangent, select this line here, and this line, okay. Select line again, make a construction line here. 
select midpoint click in this line in this point that's okay and I'll go to create select arc three point arc make an arc here this is not a construction arc okay go to sketch dimension the angle of this arc the radius is 19.635 millimeters okay now let's go down this a little bit this is the this is the point of the radius okay the center go to constraints select horizontal vertical click on this point and the midpoint okay and go to sky dimension the distance between this point and the mid midpoint here is 4.886 is okay now go to create arc again three point arc click on this point make an arc here sorry remove the construction okay make an arc here and make another one here and make another arc here there's three arcs okay go to sky dimension the radius here is 6.6 .6 millimeters a radius okay and select the circle and select the construction type click in this point here make a circle with 31 point zero one millimeter of diameter go to constraint select coincident select this point the center of this radius okay this arc make this coincident with the circle okay I have this now go to constraint and make select tangent make this Tangent with this radius, okay. Go to sky dimension. The radius here is zero point five hundred and eighty millimeter, okay. And the radius here is thirteen point twenty three millimeters. Okay, this is a little strange in it, but go to constraint, select the coincident, take the center of the the radius here, the arc, make the center coincident with the circle. Okay, that's okay. Now go to create selection mirror select this line mirror line is the is this line and press ok i have this now finish the sketch go to create select loft the profile first profile here and the second profile is the circle okay operation cut press ok i have this now go to circular pattern you can select the rectangular pattern here change here circular pattern the object type is the features and the object is the loft okay loft comments and the axis the red line here and the quantity is 12 press ok I have this now go to create a sketch select this face select the circle click in the midpoint the geometer here is 13 millimeters of geometer go to extrude now 
select this, extrude this 80 millimeter, and operation join, press OK. We have this. Now let's see the the other part of the go to body here, make this a create component from this body. Okay, and change this. Let's put this in the correct position. Okay, go to assembly, select joint, select this edge here, and select this edge. Flip this. The motion here is the revolute. Okay, press OK. Now let's hide this. Let's show the gear here. We have these two gears. The teeth is not correct. So let's move this a little bit. Show the joints. Select this revolute here. Edit. This is a little bit ninety. Here it is. Let me see here. Ninety six. No, ninety six. No, ninety seven. Ninety seven. That's okay. 97.1 or 0.2 okay press okay now just to to have fun let's the make a go to assembly and select the motion link the joint select the revolut 9 and the revolut 7 the revolut 7 uh, the angle of it is 332.30 and let's put the minus here is the same direction and press ok let's see what's happened that's okay Tem que guardar, você vai rolar na cama. Vai rolar. Let's animate this. You have this. Now we're gonna make a copy of this. This gear here. The last component. To the other side, okay? So let's go. Go to movie. And select the component here. Select this component, create a copy, move this here. That's okay, you can turn it here, press OK. Now, let's show the housing. Go to assembly, select joint, select this edge here. And select this edge, press OK. Let's show the other component, OK? Show the gear. We have this. Let's make the revolution here animating. That's OK. Go to assembly again, select the motion link, select the Revolut 7 and the Revolut 12. The Revolut, the relation here is three. here is minus.
and press OK. Here the angle is not correct. You can go to Revolute, Edit Joint. You can make this. The position is not okay. You can drag this a little bit or now. Press OK here. We need to to see all the dimensions here to to make sure what what has happened. Let's play this to to see. And that's okay. This guy is is moving, but this guy is not can't move. So let's see what what make wrong. Is here. So let me hide the let the let this this joint. Okay. Show the shaft fixture. Go to joint, select this edge here, and select this edge here. The operation here, the motion here is rigid. Let's see the the gear let me have it here i need to move this here press ok I have this. Let's see the revolution again. Uh, that is okay. Here we finish the the exercise the, in this video. Now that we'll make the last video, we'll make the another gear. And the here in the in this side with an axis here. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.